Welcome back to what's new today. We're doing a little bit of a speed run. I'm going to run through first impressions for a few different things that came in the mail today. Actually, they came yesterday. So this thing just uh, arrived. Pretty big package. No idea what's in it. Let's find out. So we've got something from Harmonic Dine and a few more goodies little box from Linsoul with uh, four or five different devices so we'll run through them we'll give you first impressions look most of the IEM world and headphone world is filled with stuff that is not that great so most likely after the first impression if it's not that great it's not worth delving into but if it is great then I'll make a full video so so first of all two products from EPZ or EPZ I don't know how they want to pronounce it the American way or the proper way they probably want EPZ don't they I'm gonna go with the proper way the EPZ anyway IEMs that look like this take a look at that yeah yeah, look shiny whoa and then this little gold brick that's right every time I show something from Linsol they send me a little bit of gold you had no idea headphone reviews were this lucrative huh this one's got a USB-C port though it's a DAC okay and it's about the same size as the truth ear Shio this one's called the TP30 it's also from EPZ it's got an ESS Sabre chip it can support up to 32 bit 768 kilohertz DSD 512 which is awesome because everybody listens to DSD 512 right I mean who does it what is Apple music I don't know what you're talking about so we'll use that we'll use that for the initial impressions and review today then they sent us uh, a Bluetooth IEM interesting this one's called the Rose Technics ceramic and you can see that it looks very much like the AirPods Pro, but inside it looks very much like every other generic uh, earbud ever. And finally, they gave us these guys. Uh, this is the Harmonic Dyne Black Hole. 50 millimeter dynamic driver, semi closed back or semi open back, depending on whether you're a half glass, full or glass empty kind of person. Only initial impressions, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If it's interesting, then we'll dive into something. Um, how about we use the DAC with their own IEM first. So EPZ, best foot forward. You sent me the DAC, you sent me the earphones. Let's see how they perform. I have no idea what price category these are, so I'm just going in blind. And first impressions are the cable, definitely a bit cheap. So I think this is a budget IEM. It's called the Star And One. I think it's the Star One, but it actually says Star And One here. I don't know. It's definitely shiny in body. The shininess always, I associate that with cheapness. It doesn't feel bad or something, but this is right in line with the $20, $30 price point. I believe it's a 10 millimeter dynamic driver inside. That's fine. I'm a big fan of dynamic drivers. Who isn't? Let's plug it in. What source am I using? You might ask. Uh, I'm using my MacBook Pro with the DAC that they gave. Now there's no power button on this because uh, as soon as you plug it in, it just turns on. It has an LED which tells you a whole bunch of things. It's got uh, single-ended and balanced outputs. All the measurements they've given in terms of power, what output is uh, assuming a 32 ohm load. So I don't know how much it can take, but it can take a 32 ohm load just fine, but then so can my grandmom. It's just not that hard, but it's got a volume knob. So some kind of gain circuitry on here. And I believe you've pressed both of them. It goes into low gain and high gain mod so you can you know power a few more things all right how do we start how do we start um let's start with some rag and bone man nice deep vocals why not when you lay my body down I'm not oh that's terrible oh this is not great sounds like it's distorting a reasonable amount let me try a different track okay how about uh ore pia by rahat fateh ali khan that's better. Something more relaxed, something nicer. Okay, definitely vocals sound a little bit. There's this sharpness to them, which indicates that there is a little too much energy somewhere in the lower treble. And they sound a little bit pushed forward, which gives me the impression that there's a little honkiness. And in the bass, it kind of, it's okay. There's a bit of sub bass in there. The mid bass hit, hmm, it feels a bit cheap. I'll be honest, it feels a bit cheap. But you know what? Let me actually go and measure it. Maybe, maybe my ears are not to be trusted. Who knows? Okay, I've just finished the measurements. I'm gonna put it up on the screen and you can see that it's, uh, yeah, there's bass, but it, there's irregularities in the bass, which we were hearing. And then this is a very V-shaped IEM with a lot of honkiness between one and two kilohertz. And then there's a lot of energy between five kilohertz-ish and then just falls off. So there's a lack of air, but an extraordinary amount of lower treble. And yeah, this is, uh, it's not a great IEM. I mean, even if it was a very cheap IEM, I'm not necessarily sure that I would recommend them. But let's find out. Maybe it's a $20 IEM if you want a V-shaped sound. Maybe it's super, like, it's a budget master, right? Maybe, maybe it is. Let's find out. Let's go to linsoul.com for, what's this thing called? 
Tipsy X. Who is Tipsy? I don't know. Star one. That's the one. Hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. Uh, I think maybe we will move on. Let's actually listen to the DAC, shall we? All right, I've got with me the Keyfind Cleaner. Pretty decent IEM for sub $100. Not perfect. Have reviewed this. You can go check that out. It's a good review. Um, it's a fair review. But I know the sound, so let's see how it sounds in comparison with the Truthia Shio, for example, which is a pretty decent DAC. Do perceive a little bit of a difference, but I just want to make sure about that. What I'm listening to now is Ego Death by Polyphia. Yeah, I think the Truthia Shio definitely sounds a little bit cleaner overall. Bass sounds just a little bit well controlled. But I want to emphasize that the DAC is maybe like 2% of the sound, right? In 98% is the actual IEMs or headphones itself. So I don't, if you've got a decent DAC, you're fine. The rest is just here. But uh, in this case, yeah, I'm preferring the Shio to the TP30. So I'm sorry, EPZ. I don't know if it's a new brand or not, but this one's fine, this is fine, the DAC is fine, but the IEM for $180, $180, there are things, there are life-changing things you can do for $180 in certain parts of the world. This is not, you know what, we'll move on, we'll move on, we're bigger than that. Next up is the Bluetooth earbud, so it's pretty straightforward. Looks like any other Bluetooth earbud. It's got a pairing button at the bottom. It's got USB-C, and I've already paired it with my Samsung Galaxy Fold 4, so I'm just gonna, yeah, it says connected as soon as it's connected. That's nifty. Apple Music, and there's this new track I've been listening to called Standing Next to You by some dude named Jun Cook. Have you heard of him? He's apparently, he used to be a part of BTS. I don't know, he's got, it's a fun song. It's a fun song, okay? Okay. Okay, definitely V-shape, trying to follow Harman, not understanding what Harman's trying to say. Uh, vocals, everything sounds a little bit thin, so they've obviously scooped that part out and they've pushed up treble to make it seem nice and lively and detailed. And then they've given you bass. It's not the most tight and detailed bass, but it is bass and it is elevated and yeah, it's kind of fun. So this is a fun sounding IEM. I don't know how much this thing costs. If it costs 20 bucks, sure, it, it's fine. If this was actually 20 bucks, uh, ah, that's very sharp sounding though. This reminds me of the tuning of a sound beats. I think well, the bass and sub bass are not that bad. Th that's not that bad. Yeah, the vocals definitely, there's uh, too much emphasis between sort of three and five, three and six K, uh, which means that there's a lot of sharpness to the vocals, but there's not a lot of body to the vocals, which indicates a scoop out in the lower mid range. It's, look, it looks, feels, and sounds like every other cheap Bluetooth IEM out there. Just, it is what it is. Now, the key thing, the real thing, is to find out how much it actually costs. So, this is the Rose Technics Ceramics. Uh, ceramics. Oh, $40. Okay, yeah. So, it looks and feels like a $40 IEM, and it sounds like a $40 IEM. Now, Bluetooth 5.3. So, that there's that. 60 millisecond ultra low latency claimed and uh, no app to EQ it, so you're stuck with Wavelet. I, I bet you could you could EQ this to sound good. The problem with something that's this cheap is that quality control has to be compromised at some point. It's really hard. Quality control is expensive. This is $40, it does Bluetooth, it's got low latency mode, it, you know, it's if it fails in six months, don't blame me. So that's all of that covered. So far, relatively unimpressed, I gotta say. Finally, will Harmonic Dime save the day? This is the Harmonic Dime Black Hole, and it's a, it's a chunky boy. Um, I gotta say, they've got this sort of, uh, what's that thing they do, Damascus in Call of Duty? It, it kind of looks like that, kind of, but without the shininess. Or forged carbon, that also kind of looks like this. Um, hard plastics all around, ratcheting mechanism, metal headband, and it's got cushion, oh, that's not a very thick cushion though. Uh, we'll put it on in a second and see how it actually feels. It's not very thick. Um, you've got all the vents and you've got big chunky pads, which, uh, okay, those feel all right. The cushions feel, I've had firmer cushions, but I'm actually a big fan of softer cushions. Okay, on the head, this is very comfortable. I probably look, it hu looks huge on me, doesn't it? But yeah, it's not bad. It sounds okay. This is apparently, I think, 
30 or 40 ohms it's really easy to drive so anything can drive it i'm going to drive it off my tooth your shio let's see how that does and let's go back to apple music and jump into mm, what should we listen to let's listen to some female vocals like uh, oh chris brown sounds actually pretty decent so far not too bad a bit of sub bass extension there Definitely could do with a little more presence for male vocals. That seems a little bit thin. Uh, again, it, it's a little bit pushed forward in the treble, but not too much. Like this doesn't sound awful like uh, some of the other things we heard today. So mid bass thump has volume, but it doesn't have that uh, crisp impact. It definitely not the most detailed bass, but there's sub bass in there too. So, okay, actually not bad. Not bad, this is not terrible. Am I running a EQ by any chance? I'm not, good. Okay, it's definitely a veiled sound, so I feel like this is a warm bass tilt-ish. Um, male vocal sound a little bit on the recessed side, like they're lacking a little bit of presence, so you could push up the one to three kilohertz just a little bit for a little more presence. Uh, but yeah, treble is, it's there. But the whole sound, like the treble is pushed forward in the lower treble, and then I feel like there's not that much in the upper treble, which means there's a lack of air. I think this whole thing could do with a little bit of upward tilt in the mids and uh, a little bit of downward tilt just between 3 and 6k and that should sort out the sound. I wouldn't change the bass. I can tell from listening to the bass that it's not going to put out that much more because it's already not sounding that crisp so this is kind of where it's at. The question then is how much does this cost because you know if it's 50 bucks then yeah this is great. If it's 250 bucks not so much. The black hole, 99 USD. Okay, so for $99, I think it could have been tuned better. Um, it's not terrible. I've heard much worse. But for that money, you can get IEMs that are much better tuned than this. And that's the thing. If you want headphones and if you're okay to EQ it a little bit, I think you can do something with this. It's not that bad, but it has some deficiencies. Good comfort though. I'll give it that much. Um, easy to drive. That's also very cool. Also, it folds flat. Did I mention? Did I makes it makes you look cool if you know like you're an audiophile but yeah that's just a, a first impression of the harmonic dyne black hole and everything else on my table today just wanted to give you a little weekend update a little uh, on the fly casual chit chat between you and me it's been interesting it's been revealing and if you'd like me to have this more conversational style of things then uh, comment down below and tell me and we'll do some more of this stuff and a big shout out to my members for supporting me maybe the rest of you could also become members and support me more yay okay out of all this i'll select something for a giveaway sometime this year so become a member if you want to be automatically enrolled into that you don't have to do anything once you're a member you get giveaways okay that's it i'll see you next time stay happy stay peaceful stay colorful namaste